What's going on everyone? This is Rielo. And Sashimi. And we've got a purring stubby here, our palico, doing a relax on my lap while we take on the new quest. We are going to unbox the Fatalis today and we need some relaxing music to get us in the mood. Oh, Fatalis right. or Mirabo Reyasu. How do you say that? Mirabo Reyasu? Uh, Mirabo Reyasu? Mir yeah. I don't know what where the emphasis is, but... Let's take a look at that box art. Yeah, I didn't cut any tape. Let's look at the box. Sasha's still a hunter in training when it comes to <laughs> unboxing, so... But I open everything now. Look at the colors. Like, man, the... This blue... To, to orange sense. gradient. Oh, this is funny. For ages fif over 15 years. 15. Adult collectible, not a toy. Not a toy. Just so you know. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of Japanese. For adults only. I love that it says it in English. It wants to be sure that everyone knows. So we've got a lot of art here, uh, or actual pictures of the figure. He looks really cool. And looks like he's got some blue in his scales. That should be pretty. Hmm. I like the, the picture they've got of him here. Yeah, his pose seems really cool. We've got oh, pretty yeah. much the same art on this side of the box. The top of the box is a very handsome... That's sideways. Oops. Good thing we got Sash doing all the box lifting. <laughs> She's got all the muscles. All right, well, let's crack him open and get this quest started. This is in celebration of the series' 15th anniversary. Dang, 15 years what? It has been 15 years already. I've only been playing it for 10. I've been playing it since the first Monster Hunter. Sweet boy. You have Aka Neck? Oh, Steppy, where are you going? Our Palico has been alerted. I think he's going over to bother his, his sister. So are you going to be able to get him out of there, up on top of the table? Let's hope so. It's probably not going to be out for him, so I'm going to move it down here. Oh, that is a big plastic coffin. That honestly went pretty great, considering the size and scale of everything. We got any more tape? We do. I lost my knife. Our kitties are having a little quarrel too, so while Sash gets through this tape, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get them in good shape. That is huge. He's one piece. Hey, Stubby has come back Lost to us. Up. So he is very, he's very large. Dang. He's got a little plastic booties, looks like. Can't be getting the floor dirty with his, uh, his magma feet. Yeah, he's got a little funky, I don't know what to call that, like knee pads? They are to protect his, his fragile dragon knees. He's been around for a long time. There we go. Alrighty. So it is time to take a look at this big beautiful boy. So what better place to start off than his head? Up 
Kind of looks like Alduin in the face, doesn't he? Yeah, a little bit. Similar horns. Well, Alduin would look like him because he's mm -hmm. been around longer. So check out these scales. He's actually got some like broken pieces. He's got a little bit of lint. The scale work on him is pretty intense. Yeah. And I love the color that they picked, that sort of bluish purple gray. Yeah, he's always had really nice colors. Ooh, his base has a lot of detail to it as well. Yeah, it looks very not a rocky. It's cool how they didn't uh, make all of his scales face exactly the same way. Yeah, they're he not, looks like an old lizard. Yeah, they're not uniform at all. So it looks like we've got our first... Is that a seam? Yeah, there's... I think a seam here. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. There's a few in his tail. Honestly, like though, it almost looks like a wound. Like if he was an old lizard and like he'd lost his tail at some point. Yeah, it looks like there might be another seam here in the tip. It's hard to tell from the side it's dark. Can you tell that? It may just be a deep line. Yeah, that, that looks like just a deep line. So his coloring is really cool though. You guys see how it like, he's got this like very small hint of blue to him, blue yeah. and green. It's a really pretty color. The sculpt for him is incredibly detailed. Yeah, I really like it. His tail is especially cool. And him. his feet are really cute. I don't know if you've looked at his feet. Can't so see his toe beans. But... Sash has a thing for all monster feet. They're adorable. He looks like he would have very good, like, dragon toe beans. They'd be kind of like, maybe like gecko feet? Yeah, that's how they look. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly how he, they look. He looks like he'd have gecko feet. Or like chicken feet. Yeah. Gecko chicken feet. They're All very right. chunky. I think they're cute. I really like the chest. Yeah, the shiny bits. Let's see if we can get to zoom in so you guys can see this, the detail of the scales. It's kind of creepy. It kind of looks melted and like skulls in a couple of places i don't know if that's intentional no actually it is entirely intentional because if you look at the lore of uh, fatalis they actually mention that hunters that they kill are melted down and are a part of their scales oh that's actually a part of so that is supposed to look like skulls yep mm -hmm. so i don't know if you guys can see them hopefully you can there's a couple skulls right in here that is really, that's an awesome detail right there. That's creepy. Here's his cute little hands. He's got some cute little dragon feet. They're, they're little faux flippers, kind of. Mm -hmm. Look like he could get, he looks like he could do a little bit in the water. Yeah, he's got like the Geocris hands. Yeah, they are. They just don't have all the webbing. So moving on up past his head neck and everything let's take a look at the wings yeah the wings are something else the shading and the coloring are it's really really good yeah i love how like kind of supple the flappy bits look <laughs> what do you call that the membrane he's supple <laughs> and again a little more crazy detail in his base here yeah, his face is nice. So his wingspan is probably a good uh, almost two feet. He is. Yeah, dang. He is huge. We'll compare him to a few of the bigger monster hunter figures that we've got. Let's take a look at the back of his Excuse wings. Me. Well, the back in general. So here we've got a couple of... might be easiest just to move that whole plastic wall out of there. Oh, yeah. You're right. So we've got a few pretty visible seams here in the back. It's always difficult with the wings, I imagine, to make these sculpts. Yeah. The blue color pretty much stays throughout. So here we have Nergigante's creator model, Plus which scale. 
is, in my opinion, the biggest so far. So here's Nergi on his stand along with Fatalis. He, it looks like he's actually a hair taller. Just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, what? If you want the biggest that I can think of, you can scoot Fatalis over a little bit for me. Hi. <laughs> We've got Grandpa Cantor over here, who is actually not a creator's model. He is a Giga Sofa Bee. We also have an unboxing for him if you guys are interested. It's in the playlist. But as for scale, he and that Lao Shan Lung back there are the biggest that I have as far as like any kind of figures for Monster Hunter. Or that I have seen, anyway. Yeah, he's going to be tricky to fit. They look so good together. Yeah. Like they Great actually. Color look... schemes. It's yeah. Like the blue kind of shared there, and they have the same color chest. Yeah, they complement each other well. Yeah. So what makes a Fatalis extra special, though, is for those of you who are long-term Monster Hunter fans or just are interested in weird little details like marketing, Capcom has always in the past kept Black Dragons from being marketed. Uh, before Fatalis here, the only one they'd really marketed was actually recently. This figure builder of Alatreon. He's a he's Alatreon. <laughs> Alatreon. I think Sorry. he's I think he's the very first uh, black dragon they ever marketed because Capcom has always wanted to keep uh, uh, keep a tight lid on their final boss monsters. So they've never uh, in the past they've never marketed them. They never made figures. Never showed pictures publicly. They wanted everyone to have, they wanted to preserve that uh, in-game boss feel without spoiling it for everybody, so. But now that Monster Hunter is a massively popular super franchise, I think Capcom's most profitable at this point, well, all that's gone and the Black Dragons are getting marketed. So here we are with an amazing Fatalis. Fatalis? I can't remember how they pronounced his name in the Fatalis, game. Fatalis, maybe? I forget. We've always said it Fatalis or Fatalis. Everything we know is wrong. We always called uh, Rathian Raytheon and Alatreon, Alatreon. Yeah, Brachidios, and then it was Brachidios. They basically, <laughs> all these years, we have all these years of training of our own pronunciations, and then when they finally sp start speaking, we're wrong in every, 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 every case. Yeah, they were never said out loud, so how, how could we know? Yeah, it was always the monster under language. Well, alrighty guys, there you have it. This is the immaculate, the massive Fatalis Creators model figure with his awesome but creepy armor and skeleton scales. I love his little face wings, too. I never noticed those. Face wings? Oh, yeah. yeah his the little fins. These are great because these actually, these are what in my opinion make his helmets some of the best mm. because they emphasize these on the helmets for the hunters. I've always loved that in the horns. Yeah, he's got a great like skull shape, really cool direction on the horns. It makes for cool gear. You hear that, Fatalis? You got a good skull on you, kid. <laughs> good skull, good skull. Well, alrighty guys, there you have it. This has been the Fatalis unboxing and review as far as paint job seams, presentation, everything. I think Capcom has nailed it this time again. They are doing an excellent the job. The awesome too, man. The sculpt? Yeah. Yeah, the detail is crazy. Uh, but I, really I think like his face. Capcom has really started nailing it with the, the creator's models. They were always good before, but now they're amazing. So. If you guys are able to get one of these, I think they're up to the third wave. They might be sold out, though. Uh, the reason we have this one is because it was first wave from Japan, so... If you like it, hope it helped you out. If you're just here for cats and monsters... Uh, Our the, cats have abandoned us. They have abandoned like, us. Like, like a pet Fatalis. Yes. We will use Fatalis for our usual stick today, so... To make sure you can adopt a dragon. <laughs> so, guys... By your friend, not your fam. Uh, like, subs, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, Fantasy 
Fantasy. <laughs> play Final Fantasy? Yes, I will play Monster Hunter. Uh, if you can't bring an animal home with you, there's other ways you can help out those animals in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelter, see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to show it, plenty of ways to give it. And speaking of love, we love you guys. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Even if your fam ends up being mythical dragons. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>